Hi everyone, um, painting tutorial today for a little change. So we're going to have a go at painting some realistic trees. Um, there are so many different types of trees and um, when you go on your exercise and your walks around the park or the woods you'll see all sorts of different colours of the leaves and the branches and the tree trunks. So we're going to have a go at um, drawing, um, so rather painting a realistic tree and I'm going to use some probably what you'd consider quite unusual colours um, but I think it's going to look quite effective. So I'm just using regular watercolour paints today and I'm going to start by loading my brush up with some purple paint, okay? And this is going to be the um, tree trunk. So the type of tree we're going to do, you know when you go, on for, go out for a walk and you see those big, um, maybe like an oak tree, and it's got a really, really thick tr tree trunk at the bottom, and then it's got lovely twisted um, branches. I'm going to do one like that. So I'm starting with the trunk. I'm just... I haven't drawn anything first in pencil. I'm just um, painting a shape. So it's, it's quite thick. And then these are the roots that come out at the bottom. And then from the top, just imagine the twisted branches. And as I paint towards the top of the paper, can you see I'm using the very, very tip of the brush? And then from there, I'm going to just... Again, bring the branches out. I mean, the trees have hundreds and hundreds of branches, some quite short, some quite long. And one over this side. Now I haven't had to dip my brush in the paint again, but you might find if it's feeling like the paint's a little bit dry, you might want to um, just dip it in again so it spreads more easily. Okay, so there's the basic shape of the tree trunk and the branches. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of red mixed with my purple. And I'm just going to do something called a colour wash. So just underneath where the ground is, I'm just going to put just a light bit of colour. But you can see how quick I'm doing it. Um, that's the lovely thing with watercolours. It can be quite expressive. Um, now, a top tip is to use um, a sponge now for the for the leaves, but if you don't have one like me at the moment, um, you can do a similar kind of effect with just your paintbrush, and it's called stippling. So I'm going to use a red this time. And when you stipple, you don't paint with smooth brush strokes, you dab the paint on. So you dab it like this and kind of let the the shape of the brush... You see where the bristles spread out? It makes um, a really lovely, interesting shape. Now this tree, I'm just going to do leaves towards the top. So you're not going to have um, this texture on the tree trunk, just in the branches. Can you see how I'm spacing them out as well? So that you can see some of the, the white paper coming through from the underneath. And then on this one. Now just be aware, when you do stippling, if you press down too hard, you could damage um, your paintbrush and it'll, it'll end up sort of spreading out. And obviously then when you go to paint anything that's detailed or something with a smooth edge, you'll find it really tricky. So I'm being ever so gentle with the brush and I'm just gently dabbing it on. Okay, so that's starting to look quite realistic now. Um, I'm gonna just mix in a bit more purple, I think. So just some darker shadowy bits. So again, with the brush pointing up to the sky, so the handle's going straight up. Um, I'm just using the tip of the brush and I'm just gonna add just a few purple shadows like that. Now you don't have to do purple and red. You could do um, orange and brown, or orange and yellow, or green and yellow, um, or you could just do something completely uh, rainbow coloured if you want. It doesn't have to be realistic colours. Um, so just with doing sim a few simple brush strokes, and then as you can see, I've just stippled or dabbed the paint onto the top. I've created quite an effective um, tree. I'm just going to go over 
the bottom bit and make some of these brand, um, roots a little bit longer. There we go. I'm really happy with that. So um, have a little go. And if you haven't got any paints, don't worry. Instead of using paint, you could draw the tree trunk with um, a pencil crayon or a pencil. Um, and then instead of um, dabbing the brush, you could get a pencil and kind of do little squiggly squiggly marks like this. Let me just show you. So it's, instead of drawing smooth lines with your pencil, it's almost like scribbling. And press down hard in some areas, soft in others, and give it a smudge. And you'll end up with um, a kind of similar effect of lots. It looks like lots and lots of leaves. So there's the finished tree. And have a go. And when you've done it, upload your pictures to Seesaw so that your teachers can share some of your artwork with me. Okay, best of luck and I'll speak to you soon.